What is going on guys, this is Darezebo here And today I'm going to be bringing you guys another awesome tutorial In Sony Vegas And I'm going to be going over the preview of what I just showed before This tutorial started up And so, pretty much the first thing we need to do is I already have a clip in here from Blur Insanity And you guys go ahead and check him out in the description I'll put his link in the description And so go check him out And so what we need to do is just Get a clip that you're going to use and drag it into your timeline and then we can zoom in by um, clicking on this corner and just dragging this out and we need to find the exact time that the actual shot takes place and so let's go ahead and get one frame before that so right there and what we need to do is press S on our keyboard and that is going to split the clip and so now there's no change but our clip is going to be split right there and then what we need to do after that is come to the first clip and go to our video effects HSL adjust and go ahead and drag on desaturate and if we look there we can see that this is now in black and white didn't mean to do that so the first part is going to be in black and white and then right when the shot takes place it's going to be in color and it just a really cool effect um, it's pretty simple but um, I really like it and there's a bunch of other things you can do with it as well but I'm just gonna go over the basics to that today and also what we can do is add a little bit of a blur so it kinda fades in a little bit and so just come up here go to radial blur and get moderate fixed radius and drag this onto your second clip so now if we see um, we can see that it's blurred a little bit and let's go ahead and decrease that to about 4,000 and just go to animate and go to about the first go about halfway just depending on how how long your clip is and change that to zero and you should have two keyframes at 4,000 and then dropping down to zero so now if we look at this we can see that it looks really nice and it's going to be black and white right when he hits the sixth shot it's going to change the color and it's gonna blur in like that and this color or this uh blur can be used for a bunch of stuff as well let's say you want to have some beats um synced with the beat you're just gonna need to find where you want it synced with the beat and go ahead and split the clip twice and if we go ahead and just right clip right click and copy that we can go ahead and hold down shift and select all of these and click paste event attributes so now if we watch this through we can see that it kind of flashes with the beat and it's a really nice effect and so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I know it's pretty simple but a lot of you guys have been asking me how to get this color correction um, changing effect and it's just a really simple tutorial and sorry I've, my nose is a little bit stopped up so sorry about the voice if it sounds any different than usual and that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I'm um, sorry I haven't been posting as much recently. I've been extremely busy with school and my in real life work. and But I'm going to try and start posting some more like I used to. And a lot more often. And so, hope you guys just stay active. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. And just thank you guys for watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, and favorite. So... This is Darezebo, guys. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.